Can you resist these exquisitely chicken dishes? I bet no. So, here I'm going to show you two most useful and mind-blowing methods of how the factories raise their chickens. For that very first method, let's start straight from hatching. Let them draw a fluffy carpet or bedding for eggs which are about to come soon. They use these special machines to spread the bedding equally and thoroughly, so the chicks would feel like home here. This special machine is being used here to delicately place those eggs from the trays on the fresh bedding. He is adjusting the temperature of this open hatching center and check out those beautiful newborn chicks as they come out of the eggs. My goodness, these friends are too cute to handle. They only waited for all the chicks to be hatched so they can transfer them into their dedicated units where they will grow into beautiful full-fledged pack of meat. I mean, beautiful young chickens. I think this chick is very hungry, but don't worry, friend, your meal is coming so soon. These people ensure their young chicks receive high-quality nutrition from the moment they hatch. They prepare organic feed, which includes a blend of U.S.-grown corn and expeller-pressed soybeans. This method of processing soybeans excludes the use of hexane, a chemical solvent commonly used in conventional feed processing to avoid feeding them any chemicals. Check out that automated system of feeding these chicks, so they won't be hungry or neglected. They eat just the right amount of meal, but the auto-feeding bowls aren't returned immediately. Many modern poultry farms use nipple watering systems where water is dispensed drop by drop. This system helps keep the water clean and reduces waste. Chickens learn to peck at the nipple, releasing one drop of water at a time. Watch those two beautiful chicks gossiping about how amazing our videos are. Note that by each passing day those chicks are getting younger, it's like we have spent every day with them, well at least I did. This method is efficient and ensures a constant supply of fresh water, also because their beaks are not designed to gulp large amounts at once. Housing a large number of chicks in a single large hall maximizes the efficient use of space. This setup allows farmers to manage and monitor the chicks more easily compared to multiple smaller areas. Another reason could be it is equipped with advanced environmental control systems that regulate temperature, humidity, ventilation, and lighting. Everything is under control and of course they keep monitoring all those chickens regularly. It's way easier to keep an eye on them like this, isn't it? But it doesn't mean the individual incubation centers can't be handled properly. I will show you a perfect example of that in a moment. As these chicken are ready to dispatch, Check out this cool modern machine which is more like a spaceship for chickens has arrived. And when I said a spaceship, I meant this. Apart from catching those big chickens manually, which becomes more like playing with them and running after them through the entire space, they use this sophisticated machine to catch and transport the chickens safely in easy to carry, especially designed baskets. Now comes the in-house process of hatching and raising chicks from scratch. This will be the exact process of raising the chicks inside several independent centers as I was telling you before. As soon as all the little chicks have come out of the eggs, they pass through conveyor belts where they need to complete their attendance and then transferred towards the inside centers where they will be kept to get their rest of the growth.
Some of you may know that some chickens are too clingy that they tease you without any reason whenever you pass beside them. Have you ever experienced that? Dude, that's the most dreadful thing when they poke you with their beaks continuously. You must have some wonderful stories to share. Drop in the comment section. We would love to read your side of stories. As these chickens are completely ready to process further, they remove their sieve-like trays so the chickens are easily transferred on the conveyor belts, which will lead these beauties to be collected and transported easily. As soon as the chickens leave for their next destination, which we will show you in a bit, let these people clean the area. Surprisingly, they do not waste the chicken manure. Instead, they carefully collect all the feces so that they can be used as natural fertilizers. The moment these chickens are transported to this facility where the final procedures will be held, they pass through this center which is filled with blue light that has disinfectant properties to remove bacteria from chickens. I just need a moment. If you are enjoying this video, please make sure to hit that like button so we will know it was you who supported us. We really need your support to keep making videos like these and bring interesting content just for you. These chickens are politely treated with a silent and humane rendering process to ensure that chickens are unconscious and insensible to pain before they are processed. Stunning chickens with an electrical water bath is one of the approved methods for minimizing their suffering and speeding up the process. Now comes the washing process. Along with that, their outer furry skin will be removed with the help of a bunch of automatic machines. This process is rather satisfying, if we only see how effective these machines are. They automatically and neatly cut the chick feet and gathered them in a separate chamber. You will see many human hands helping while the entire meat slicing process is done. But their hassle has decreased and mostly they need to keep an eye on the procedure or do a little help only where human presence is necessary. This is true automation. See those bulk meat stock is being scanned and analyzed for several quality checks. Those who couldn't make it up to the standards will be released and wasted right away to ensure only high quality meat is processed further for our health security. Some of the whole chicken meat is sent to the further stations where marination is required to keep our taste buds fulfilled. As the real process has begun, let's start from where they hang the chickens with firm support so the machines easily slice the wings apart. After wings, comes the front half being cut by effective and modern machinery so the humans can stay away from this entire process. Removing their tails might not be clearly seen here because of the fast speed of these machines. Anyways, this helps to speed up the whole process because it's not just about tails cutting. The most satisfying boneless meat cutting apart is about to come, so stick for a while.
You can see how cleanly those chicken leg pieces are cut and removed separately, so you just grab, wash, and cook right away. By the way, how would you like to utilize those chicken leg pieces? Maybe I could get some new ideas, so drop your comments below. Eating chicken isn't just about enjoying a tasty meal. There are some not-so-common benefits that might surprise you. Chicken is a great source of choline, a nutrient that supports brain development and function. It helps improve memory and cognitive performance. So munching on chicken can keep your mind sharp and alert. And when you can remember all the important matters, please don't forget us. We literally work hard to keep you entertained through our videos, so supporting us a little through your well wishes would keep us going. And we all know, it's a huge source of protein and many such elements that support our health, so why not cook it in a beneficial way, so it won't ruin your health in any way? Wings are the ultimate favorite even for those who are die-hard fans of homemade dishes. Chicken wings get a flavor blast from a delicious mix of spices, herbs, and liquids. After soaking up all goodness, then they're fried to that crispy perfection. Everyone loves seeing how their favorite donut cakes are made, right? Now watch how these automated machines shape hundreds of donuts to perfection. Once they cool down, they get a delicious coating of creamy or chocolate glaze, depending on the flavor, of course. These donut cakes are guaranteed to crush all your cravings. That's their magic for sure. After a while, the coatings get dried just right on the donuts, making it more irresistible. Packaged donuts are loaded with all the info you may need, ingredients, nutritional facts, and expiration dates as well. As these signature-shaped nuggets are dipped into this unique mixture, they get an even coating of breadcrumbs, giving them that crunchy texture And that's how our favorite nuggets are made, that everyone can't get enough of. Check out how perfectly these machines take up the entire fruit and cut them in equal beautiful shapes, removing the cord automatically. Want to witness a different type of auto-cutting techniques? Watch these tomatoes getting ready to be fed into those machines which will cut them into halves making them convenient for us to grab and use. These pineapple getting cut in rings is more satisfying than its usage. I bet you're all craving pizza right now. 
Don't worry, I've got you covered. First, the dough gets rolled into perfect pizza bases. No waiting around, it's all action here. These folks spread this mouth-watering pizza sauce on each base. To make sure the sauce sets just right, they half cook the pizzas before adding the toppings. And finally, it's on the way back into the oven for the final bake. Come on, tell me in the comment section what exactly do you want to watch in upcoming videos. Did you know that China is the top shrimp importer in the world? They bring in a whopping 6 million tons of shrimp every year. To avoid any contamination, shrimp get a thorough wash and a steam bath. Skilled workers keep an eagle eye to spot any rotten shrimp and then they quickly remove them. Shrimp isn't just delicious but also low in calories, high in protein, and also packed with heart-healthy omega-3s and antioxidants. Before packaging, these shrimps get another quick steam shower to make them ultra fresh and delicious. Finally, they're packed into these branded boxes to ensure that you get them in top-notch condition when you buy them. As these bottles line up at the filling station, precise nozzles fill them perfectly, creating no mess around. All this happens super fast with high-tech machinery, ensuring your drinks are always ready to grab and go. The process of making banana chips begins with picking only green, unripe bananas. These bananas are firmer than ripe ones, which makes them easier to slice. It's also crucial to ensure that the thickness of each slice is no more than 3 millimeters. These workers fry these slices of banana in hot blazing oil while paying close attention to achieve a perfect light golden brown color. A sprinkle of some secret spices, in measured quantities of course, takes the flavor to the next level. Additionally, they have high starch content that provides the chips a crunchy texture. Each box is going to get the perfect amount of these crunchy golden chips. Once these top quality oranges are thoroughly washed, they are turned into a mixture that includes both the sugary syrup and the pulp. This mixture is then cooked on a hot stove until it becomes a sweet, tangy jam. Oranges aren't celebrated globally just for their taste, but they are also packed with vitamin C which boosts the immune system and aids in the absorption of iron.
These sleek square-shaped glass jars are perfect for preserving a plenty of jam without any hassle. Their wide mouths make the filling process go smoothly and consumers can easily scoop out the jam just like a breeze. Various types of fillers are used to ensure that each jar gets the perfect amount of jam quickly and efficiently. That's a big task that would take ages if done manually. So after filling, the jars are cooled for a set time frame as it is crucial for setting the jam completely in these jars. As you probably know, orange jam isn't just a breakfast spread, it's also used in desserts as a filling for cakes and cookies. And when you add it to a cocktail, it gives it a unique citrus twist. This sleek filling machine is precisely calibrated to pour the exact quantity of milk into each sterilized bottle. Once filled, the bottles make it to the capping station, where caps are automatically placed and tightly secured. As the bottles are filled, sensors monitor closely for any issues, such as leaks or underfilled bottles. Next, the bottles proceed through a labeling machine where each bottle gets a label featuring brand information, nutritional facts, expiration dates, and other essential details. Now we've brought you inside this massive warehouse, where the walnut journey will begin. Here. The walnuts are loaded onto big trucks, making transport swift and super smooth. As they make it to the factories, skilled workers carefully sort out any damaged or rotten walnuts. To create these tasty flavored walnuts, a special mixture is applied and then left to soak in before roasting, ensuring every bit of flavor is absorbed. Did you know China produces over half of the world's walnuts? Their secret lies in huge investments in research, like advanced grafting techniques and smart farming methods that ensure a consistent water supply to the fields. These automated machines effortlessly crack open the hard shells using air blowers and vibrating tables as well. Then the conveyor belts dispatch tons of walnuts away for further processing, so as to dry out any leftover moisture along the way. Finally, these walnuts are perfectly ready for consumers to enjoy. Even their broken bits get a second life as they can be used in cupcake toppings, delicious chocolates and baking delights. Check out those delicious walnuts getting topped on those creamy and rich delights, enhancing the overall taste. 
Nothing goes to waste here. They also get wrapped into these handy mini packets, perfect for snacking during your hectic day. Pocky sticks were first created by the Japanese in 1966, but they have come a long way since then. Originally available only in chocolate flavor, they now boast a vast range of delicious flavors. The process starts with mixing the dough to the perfect consistency, then rolling it into long, thin sticks. These sticks are cut to a desired length of about 15 centimeter and then baked in large ovens. The baking time and temperature are carefully monitored to ensure they stay crispy and don't get burnt. If you are enjoying this video, please don't forget to hit the like button and keep supporting us. Dumplings are more than just food. They're a taste of home. For many, the aroma of dumplings cooking brings back memories of family gatherings, childhood meals, and cherished moments shared around the table. Making dumplings at home and at factories has a few differences. You can see how hygienically they are handling the cut veggies, so they will be cleanly chopped in various sizes later. Just imagine if all of that bulk process was supposed to be handled by manual labor, it wouldn't have been this easy. Here comes the meat and rest of the ingredients getting chopped, minced, and mixed in the huge industrial mixers. This is also one of the finest and satisfying technologies that one can ever see in the food factories. That's perfectly ready. So the dedicated hopper would be filled with this filling material to make the dumpling process way easier. Here the machines ensure that the dough is thoroughly kneaded without lumps. The divided dough will be filled with equal portions of the filling. These portions are usually measured precisely to ensure that each dumpling gets an equal filling for a uniform process. After the filling is added, the dumplings are sealed shut. This is done by those latest automated machines. This automated and efficient process allows factories to produce large quantities of dumplings while maintaining the traditional taste and quality. Throughout the production process, quality checks are conducted to ensure that the dumplings meet the company's standards and customers' needs. Now, here is the time they need to cook the dumplings partially and make them half ready for you. Once steamed, they got frozen right away to preserve their natural qualities. As soon as the dumplings are made and checked for quality via different machines and detectors, they are packaged for distribution. As you know, the dumplings can be cooked in various ways, steamed, boiled, or fried. Factories often use large steamers or boiling units to cook dumplings in bulk and basically half-cooked. This will save you a lot of hassle when your guests are waiting for their meal. You just have to cook these dumplings partially and they are ready to serve.
This could involve placing them in trays or bags, sealing them, and labeling them with product information and expiration dates. The boxes are kept in a temperature-controlled environment to maintain their quality until they reach the consumer. Are you as thrilled as I am to dig into the secret of how our favorite coconut discs are made? Let's find out. First, shredded coconut is mixed thoroughly with condensed milk, sugar, and sometimes cohesive binders like corn syrup. If you know its name, just hold it to yourself and let's drop only wrong names and confuse the folks. I'm going to call them coconut discs. The mixture is expertly sliced into uniform flat discs by these precision machines. You can see how the chocolate is melted to a smooth, pourable consistency. The cooled discs are then conveyed to a chocolate enrobing machine, which coats each disc with an even layer of chocolate. To make sure the discs are firm and stay intact, they are allowed to chill for a moment. Then these chocolate-coated discs are passed through a cooling tunnel, where the coating hardens and gets a nice glossy finish. These hot-off-the-press coconut discs are all set to go and now heading to the packaging section. Each disc is manually inspected to ensure they are properly wrapped and placed in boxes without any scratch. How can we resist those delicious, warm, juicy cup noodles, especially when you can have them instantly and wherever you want? In dedicated factories, those noodles get steamed and instantly fried to preserve their flavors, yet make them ready for anyone, anywhere. They quickly gain popularity worldwide due to their convenience, affordability, and long shelf life. Cup Instant Noodles became especially popular among college students, campers, and individuals looking for quick meals. Here the green veggies, chicken, and other ingredients are getting ready to be packed in your cup noodles along with placing flavorful packet of sauces so you can enjoy these cup noodles with superb taste and amazing convenience whenever you want. Oreo ice cream is not only delicious, but also refreshing, making it the perfect treat to enjoy on a hot day. Oreo ice cream continues to be beloved by people of all ages, and that rich chocolate dip is one of the most satisfying clips of this video. Once all the ice creams are ready, they will be packed and frozen right away. The cold, creamy texture of the ice cream paired with the crunchy bits of Oreo cookies provides a satisfying contrast that is both luscious and refreshing at the same time. Bottled juices are highly portable, which is ideal choice for people with busy lifestyles or those who need a quick energy boost while on the move. While fresh juices are often praised for their high nutritional content, factory-made bottled juices can also provide essential vitamins and minerals. Pocky is not only popular in Japan, but also has a significant following worldwide. It is sold in over 30 plus countries and regions, including the United States and various countries across Asia and Europe. 
While chocolate is the most well-known flavor of Pocky, the snack comes in a wide variety of flavors, including strawberry, matcha green tea, and more. Here are some satisfying yet efficient clips from the company that show how brilliant the whole process is. Pocky sticks are not only delicious, but also fun to eat. As soon as the six are mechanically cut, they are perfectly ready for further processing, which involves that rich and creamy chocolate we all crave. That thin layer of chocolate is just enough to complement the biscuit without overwhelming it, allowing the biscuit's flavor and texture to shine through while still providing an amazing chocolate experience. Remember when you and your friends shared Pocky after school or tried new flavors during family movie nights? Pocky brings back those happy memories and makes each bite extra special with its nostalgic taste. I'm not going to tell you how mango juice is made in factories. It's obvious they take the ripened mangoes, boiled, smashed, and extract juice. But the real thing lies in the selection of mangoes. Perhaps the most satisfying thing about industrial mixers is the way they streamline the manufacturing process, saving time, labor, and resources while ensuring consistency and quality. Well, that looks satisfying, and the material can be done within a few minutes, unlike manual processes. In this video, we're gonna show you the most ingenious factory-level heavy machinery that you've never seen before. With its gentle yet efficient extraction process, these couple of extracting plates squeeze out every drop of honey and reveal the empty bees hives, whereas the collected honey is transferred through transparent pipes towards storage. With saving time in mind, this setup is entirely convenient and helpful to clean and sort out the freshly harvested apples. As soon as their task is completed, they hand over all those apples towards specialized fingers that induce them on peeling stations. The efficient peelers rips off their skins in less than one second. The hull free peel apples are now manually inserted into the slicing station where sharp cutters convert apples into thin rings. It's a pretty quick, easy and well-maintained process. These liners have accepted the challenge of throwing doughnuts in whatever manner. They can gather every doughnut in the proper line until they are taken by the transferring belts, where a lot of dopamine agents are awaiting. Dopamine are happy hormones and researchers have shown that by eating chocolate doughnuts our body releases these hormones. Here's a robot working in the line of biscuit production, continuously picking and packing those delightful treats with precision and care. With its gentle touch and swift movements, the biscuit body ensures that each biscuit is handled with the utmost care. See this batter is gonna change into perfectly made pancakes. Here's how they flawlessly cook pancakes in factories with expert precision. Well, this smooth operation ensures they can make up to 2 million pancakes in one day. Watch closely as it takes those big blocks of cheese and rolls of pepperoni so they would transform them into perfectly thin slices in a matter of seconds.
say cheese. I mean these mechanical beasts slice up cheese bars within nanoseconds and transfer them onto the next belts. Probably the most efficient way of separating chocolate bits. Just throw them from height. Let's set those bread slices first in order to make multiple dozens of sandwiches. They have the best sauce depositor of the age to deposit a precise amount of sauce in order to create a perfect cold sandwich. Once all the condiments are ready, the machine sets the slices in a specific dimension so the cutter would split the sandwich in half, equally and give them a perfect cut. You can see how accurately these packing machines are feeding the wrapping paper and sealing the fresh sandwiches. Motivate us to create more satisfying videos. Do the drill and smash the like button. Pancakes are never gonna get older. As soon as the batter dispenses onto a hot griddle, the flippers get ready to flip the pancakes before they get ruined. Typically, pancakes take about one to two minutes per side to cook. They will definitely know when it's time to flip the pancake when bubbles form on the surface and usually because of the preset timing. The machine can also add cream to the pancakes using another dispenser that can control the amount and shape of the cream. They keep on dipizzing cream on one pancake line and skip the other, you know to make a sandwich later. And the best thing to watch today was that even layering them is handled with the help of machines. It works by feeding a log into a conveyor belt, which moves it towards a rotating saw so it will be cut into equal pieces. And the other cutter will make chunks out of it. They are handling such a delicate task to make and cut the straws we all use for our beverages. Now let us show you once all these straws are gathered in the temporary storage, they are picked up by robotic machines to be fed for packaging and separately wrapping them in non-reusable paper. So yes, that's why those restaurants give you extra straws. They made a lot of it. Inducing the raw ingredients so these machines can assemble different kinds of barbec sticks from raw materials. The machine works by loading the different materials on the skewers so they can make perfect barbecue hosts for your next parties. At each station, the machine holds up the wooden sticks so the robotic arms can easily load meat and veggies on them in different patterns. That's faster than any normal human speed, so you must agree that why we all are loving these kinds of machines. Feast your eyes on the spinach sensation. This amazing machine delicately plucks baby spinach leaves from the fields with gentle precision and enormously satisfying manner. And that's exactly why those grocery markets have a lot of them because they produce and harvest more. Check the appealing way of filling containers. With its impeccable precision, every hot dog is perfectly placed and ready to hit the grill. These are the bestest and quickest machines to watch on the internet as they are all set wet to pack smoked sausages, so you can never run out of them. Trust me, these machines are whole another level. They can handle, pack and sort, possibly do all. First, the biscuit sticks are expertly baked within the machine so they will be ready to be packed with smooth and silky sweet cream for tasty dips. Passing through several quality and metal detectors they will reach the packing counters where they are first set in a specific order. This order is compulsory as it will ensure the smooth packing process and no mess can be seen, even in your packs.
They are gonna show off their techniques to easily pour mashed potatoes in little packaging for easy reaching. I'm not sure about the taste, but they are perfectly blended and creamy. Well, these equipment are really smart, no doubt. If you haven't had enough of packaging, let us show you this amazing set of automatic marvels that guarantees the quick and secure packing of anything. Never gonna miss that sight. This amazing machine first releases the noodles of minced meat, making sure they are well ground and blended. As soon as the belts keep running and making everything ready, the cheese extruder slices the cheese and places it onto different distances, so every patty would have cheese in the middle of it. They are gonna sandwich those layers onto one another and later cut them into perfectly round patties for burgers. You must love burgers and enjoy every bite of it. Trust me, they're incredible, they can make anyone cheat their diet plans. But for now, we must focus on how satisfying this site is. I need to watch those round patties making and slicing continuously without even stopping for a minute. Well, they're not gonna stop, as they won't get tired, so this results in higher yield. Next time when you are gonna eat those burgers you must remember we have shown you this amazing bulk production. If you like watching it, thank us later. These nozzles are filled with different sorts of melted sweet treats to pack your chocolate with creamy stuffed inside. At last they are gonna cover that creamy goodness within the chocolate. Literally I just wanna take one bite. Once prepared, the sausage mixture is stuffed into casings. Traditionally, these casings were made from animal intestines, but nowadays, synthetic casings are also commonly used. The stuffed casings are formed and tied into links of sausage of desired lengths. They are generally twisted or tied at regular intervals to separate them from each other. The machines continuously take a specific portion and tie it with a thread that may be later removed or kept like that, if not needed. Depending on the type of sausage being made, it is smoked to enhance flavor, texture, and to ensure food safety. Once cooked or smoked, the sausages are cooled down rapidly to prevent bacterial growth and to maintain freshness. Also, the thread removal tools help to remove those threads immediately. A modern machine that sorts chicken pieces with incredible speed and accuracy, ensuring each piece meets the highest quality standards. These bodiless chicken pieces are being transferred onto several belts with the use of a little runny water and sending them off for other protocols. As soon as these belts take the pieces of chicken from one belt to another, they probably pass them through various detectors for quality assurance. Now they are gonna use a three-way technique to gather and pack these slices of chicken to enhance the efficiency of their production level. Prepare to be amazed by these spraying bots tinting any sort of metal with the chosen color. These high-tech arms delicately take up the ice cream sticks and dip them in that silky and runny coatings. It's not new to them, but for us it's super satisfying to watch. They have just a little time to get settled, so they will be packed right away. It's your lucky day, at least you got to watch how these pin boners are easily removing the bones from fish slices. It really doesn't matter how hard that fish would be when it was alive. Now it's just a helpless lag. 
They work tirelessly, I mean seriously, but that's not worth it because they have just ruined our diet plans. These cream-filled pastries are one thing I can never resist. Don't tell me you can. Name your cheat sweet. Pouring the perfect amount of patty mixture and rolling out dough with precision. What a gentle well machine is this. They ensure every bite is a mouth-watering delight and making them is a breeze in factories worldwide. If done with cream, then jam lovers here's your turn dude. These pastries are made in abundance so you can have a lot of them. These magical rollers mold sweet confections into delightful shapes. Don't doubt that, just wait and see their patterns. With each pass, these seed planters ensure consistent seed depth and spacing, optimizing crop growth and yield. This is gonna enhance the efficiency of how you actually wanna work in your fields. These grains are the best thing ever happened to our lives. Why? Because they make food. Now, when it comes to making bread on an industrial level, they can't use a bunch of farmers to pick up all that wheat from farms, right? It's gonna be hectic. So that's exactly where these beast machines stand. But one thing, not all types of flours are the same, but they all are made from one main thing, wheat. As for bread, they're gonna need all-purpose flour for which they need this type of grain that's a mixture of hard and soft wheat. It's amazing that one grain can create different flours for different dishes. All you need to do is harvest that soft and hard wheat. As soon as the freshly harvested wheat grains arrive at their designated plants, they are put to test first. Once confirmed that they got what they needed, the entire stock is put into the cleaning chambers where they separate the bran from the inner soft part. I never thought this process would be so satisfying to watch and how beautifully these machines play their part in creating a perfect blend of softness and flavor for us. This is our freshly prepared all-purpose flour. They will now add that flour and the other ingredients to make it ready for kneading. This is the crucial step, and I know some of us don't like kneading the flour because it's just effort consuming. Early bread makers didn't have fancy mixers. They used simple tools like grinding stones to turn grains into flour and then mixed it with water to form a basic dough. But big thanks to these huge kneaders at the factory level are efficient and quick and make sure to knead the flour until it gets its right texture and the tenderness we need for bread. Look at that dough, it is all set to begin the process. Here comes Mr. All set to start making bread. And for that, all of this dough should be added here to make small round balls. See, what you love or hate to do in your kitchens, this machine is cutting the exact amount of dough that is needed to make perfectly round balls. The dough is like clay that needs the right shape. So they put it into this machine to add some dry flour to the balls, which will help later to be in the right shape. Now they are being put into these special circular molds to give them a thorough texture. These molds are just another addition to give the dough its proper crowing shape. Passing through these sieving belts,
Oops, I'm sorry buddy, you can't make it. The oil sprayer is all set here to grease the pans, of course you all know why. This is going to give the bread to easily pour and bring it out of the pan without any difficulty. Again, rolling and rolling. Before putting their final molds, they are being rolled a little bit, and yeah, automatically to give them the basic shape of bread. Okay. So all these bread doughs are put into their desired molds, even if it's the regular rectangular bread or the bread buns. They can do it all. And yup, these molds are cozy homes for our soon-to-be, well, bread. All the trays are then organized and gathered to give these doughs some time to rise on their own. Correct, due to that yeast added in it. Once it's all set, the sprayer nozzles are activated again to grease the above layer of bread dough thoroughly so it will be baked just as you love, either in taste or color. Love multi-grain bread. Here's how they sprinkle lots of grains above the dough, so when it is baked you will get lots and lots of grains in every bite. What? No. No just waiting for the other mates to arrive. As soon as the batch of three trays is gathered, these robotic arms place the sealing trays over the molding trays. The reason is to make them baked in the exact shape. The seals will prevent de-shaping. Of course, the next step is the easiest to guess. Baking. It's not going to take much time, but let's skip to exactly where the bread is just coming out of that hot bath. So, can you feel that warm, fresh fragrance? Maybe it's too much. Once the bread is ready, they are being gently picked and placed to the other conveying belts, so they harmlessly reach to the further processing that may involve slicing and packing. But before that, these bread loaves are neatly organized in the stack of five in each row to take them to the cooling storage. This is healthy for freshly baked breads to save them from getting mold too soon. Ever notice the size of the holes in your bread? The factory bakers carefully control the dough fermentation process to achieve the desired crumb texture. And I didn't know that before. I thought it was part of what you call it Mother Nature doing. And yup! Not this one, but some bread factories have special ovens that mimic the sun's rays to give bread its golden tan. Who knew bread could have a sunbathing session? This is cute. These belts have just one task, to arrange the bread loaves to the specific mark, just as this laser is directing them, so they can be all set for the automation. You know, automatic machines do have some ground rules, so these little machines are just doing their part to get them ready. Here comes the slicing unit. Yup. THE slicer. I bet if you can catch that cutter. Oh, you can't. Because it's that fast, but yeah, for your good luck, you can only spot the sliced bread loaves. All these robots are clearly advised to pick up the wrapper, open it and seal the bread inside it before, or you can say without any human contact. I don't know why this is so satisfying, and yes, a relief. One by one. All the sliced breads are picked and wrapped in the packet and sealed at the very moment. And how are the slices not scattered? I think I just got their secret sauce. The maximum pressure induced by airflow acts as a magnet to keep the slices united and closer to each other to avoid any mess. That's why we can't put the slices back in the packet just as they could. That quick, neat and bulk packaging of bread is the true picture of how modern technologies have ease up our tasks. Not just at home, offices, but at industrial level, so they can now produce as much as they want. You might wonder why these robots are placing these plastic boxes in order. Well, talking about healthy stuff, how can we skip salads? They are so efficient to pour the mixed salad into these boxes and seal them to keep them fresh and tasty. Yeah, one more benefit. They prepare more than 10,000 salad boxes each day, and they could do that all because of these genius robots. Peeling, peeling, and peeling. That's all this machine can do. But the good thing is, it can be customized to peel off types of fruit and veggies. It's good for large-scale businesses. All of these buns that we mold before while making bread are now used to make ready-to-eat burgers. On one hand, they are sorting the patties while on the other side, they are preparing buns. The robots are active enough to place what suits where and make so so many buns in no time. 
This is so beautiful and yeah, hygienic, of course. Hey, talking about burgers, no meal can complete without Coca-Cola, but it's good for your health to watch beforehand how it is made in factories. If you haven't seen our video about secrets behind making Coca-Cola at larger scales, we are right here.